Hey guys, I uh, hope you guys are fine. Today we'll be talking about the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus, okay? So you know earlier on we spoke about the anatomy of the humerus, but now we'll be talking about just the upper parts, right? And uh, on the upper parts we'll be focusing on the greater tubercle, which is this, and at this side, the lesser tubercle, okay? So our focus is to discuss the anatomy of the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus. All right, so now, what is unique about the greater tubercle that we are to take in? The greater tubercle of the humerus is situated lateral to the head and lesser tubercle, okay? Now, its upper surface is rounded and marked by three flat impressions, okay? This is the greater tubercle. You see that it is away, that's lateral, okay? It is away from the head, that's lateral from the head, okay? Now, um, okay, yeah... Impressions though, I don't have an image that the impressions are not neat, okay? But the highest impressions gives an insertion to the supraspinatus. The middle impression gives an impression to the, um, like insertion to the infraspinatus. While the lower impression gives a, an insertion to the teres minor, okay? That's the seat, right? That's the seat muscles. That's the rotator cuff muscles that we spoke about, okay? And we've already done a lecture on the rotator cuff, okay? So basically, three muscles of the rotator cuff insert on the greater tubercle, but at different impressions, okay? So now, um, the lateral surface of the greater tubercle is convex, rough, and continuous with the lateral surface of the body, okay? So these are humerus here, too. You can see the greater tubercle. I could see the lesser tubercle, okay? Let's move. Then talking about the lesser tubercle, let's see what the lecture note has for us. Uh, the lesser tubercle is situated in front and is directed medial ward and forward, okay? Above and in front. It presents an impression for the insertion of the tendon of subscapularis, okay? We earlier on spoke about the muscles of uh, the rotator cuff the, the, the mnemonics is actually SITS, S-I-T-S. The first S is supraspinatus, the second I, uh, the, the I, second I is what? Infraspinatus, uh, the third T is the teres minor, and the fourth S is the supra, uh, is, is the subscapularis, okay? And the subscapularis inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus, okay? Looking at this image, it's a lesser tubercle, this is a greater tubercle, okay? The greater tubercle has having three impressions, okay, for those rotator cuff muscles, and the lesser tubercle being where the subscapularis inserts, okay? So now, the tubercles are separated uh, by a deep groove, also known as the intertubercular groove, okay, which runs obliquely downwards and ends near the junction of the upper with the middle thirds of the bone, okay? So now, let's actually see this in the image you see the intertubercular groove inter it is between two tubercles okay it is between the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle okay so it, it runs between the intertubercular groove running down and it ends where uh, the upper one third of the bone meets the lower two thirds of the bone okay so that's it guys so now in fresh states um it's Upper part, that's the infresh state of the humerus, like in a freshly dissected person. The upper part is covered with a thin layer of the cartilage, lined by a prolongation of the synovial membrane of the shoulder joint, okay? So now, um, its lips are called respectively, okay? Uh, the, 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 the lips of that intertubercular groove, okay? Are called respectively could be um, the leap from the greater tubercle, could be leap from the um, lesser tubercle, okay? So now, um, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, also known as the crest of the greater and crest of the lesser tubercles, okay? Now, it forms the upper part of the anterior and the medial borders of the bone, okay? So this is it. Uh, you see the greater tubercle, you see the lesser tubercle, and um, this line in between is the intertubercular groove or intertubercular circle. Okay, so now the lesser tubercle, though it is smaller, it is the most prominent. 
okay although it is smaller it is the most prominent now let's see this greater tubercle lesser tubercle lesser tubercle is the most prominent although it is smaller than the greater tubercle and um, the bicipital groove lodges the long tendon of the biceps brachii and transmits a branch of the anterior humeral circumflex artery to the shoulder joint okay i don't think any of this image actually has the anterior circumflex humeral joint um, artery there okay but i told you guys the best way to understand my lectures is to have an atlas with you as you listen to me as i'm talking you are like seeing it on your atlas okay so the bicipital groove is deep and narrow above and becomes shallow and a little broad as it descends let's see this an image and you see that this thing is so deep up here it's so deep up here but as you come down it becomes shallow okay so that's the bicipital groove that is defining it okay so guys that's the anatomy of the lesser tubercle and the greater tubercle okay we spoke about their locations we spoke about um their prominence uh, we also spoke about the the line dividing them okay which is the intertubercular circles or intertubercular groove i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial love you guys and see you guys very soon bye for now